Hi guys, Silverback here with a bit of a review for you. Also, some of the lines along the tutorial. This is to do with XSplit, okay? Now, you guys, um, obviously, uh, whoever broadcasts or streaming or new to it will need to have some form of software. Now, many capture cards do come with a live streaming software um, included. Uh, you have the HDPVR. You have to download their software. It's called StreamEase. You have Elgato, but you, you have Roxio, and out of all of them, Roxio's one seems to come with a better setup and main main area. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to remove all these. Okay, I'll keep those. Away. Okay, right. So when you first laid up and everything else, um, you'll get a screen like this. Okay. So what I'm going to show you how to do first of all is to add your things down here. Okay. So what you want to do is create a folder. Okay. Um, I've made mine. If I show you here, if I go into pictures, it's called there. It's called live setup. So everything I need is there and that's all the bits that I, I need and anything else I need onto it I just keep in that file there okay so what also the, f the other thing we need to do is make sure that this is on okay so that is your software whatever software you're using be it rock show H, uh, HD PVR or Elgato you need to make sure that you have this on okay so and then you put it into the capture mode and that comes up there all right I'm just going to mute my speakers. There we go. Right, that comes up there. We don't need to hear the feedback from that. Okay, there we go. And rearrange. There's the size. Right, sorted. Let's go back to XSplit here. Okay, what I'm going to do first of all is I need to add the area that I'm capturing. Okay, so I go to add. Uh, you can go to camera. Uh, this is advised for Rock Show HD Pro. It is a new feature uh, from XSplit. So uh, it will come up there with Rock Show HD Pro and you'll click on it and you'll do all the resizing that you need to do. So we go back here and we go to Game Source. Okay, That comes up as Capture Model DX9EX. Now if you click on that, it brings up that bit there. But as you can see, if I wave my mouse in front, right, it comes up on there. We need to right click and untick Show Mouse. Okay, so that's that done. Now what we're going to do is add our overlays. Okay, so if we go to add media file, okay, and then we go to where my stuff is. There we are, live setup. Now I'll go into the overlay. Okay, now this here, we make it a bit smaller, and we stick that there. Okay. And then what we might, if it's a moving picture, you just need to click on loop. Okay, that'll do its own thing now. Right now, we need to add any uh, images or anything else we want to put on. So if we go here, I pick up my gorilla. I'm going to place him up there. Okay, so we shrink it down to the size we want. Well, yeah, it's about right there. Okay, now obviously, I'll bring that back down there. Obviously, um, if you have any overlays that you require, like because uh, I I, I co-run the War Room, we stream live. I have all the sponsors there, Rockstar, sort of Gaming, um, and all those. So that, I'm not going to put them up on there just as yet. So that gives you an idea of the overlays. Okay, um, the microphone is picked up there, as you can see, it's raising up there, and that's the game sound there. Now, when you have this on, the ideal thing is to mute your actual PC speakers. That way, there's no feedback or anything like that. And whatever is played on your computer will be put through to your live stream. So it's always ideal not to have it. Okay, so what we're going to go to now is we're going to go to general settings and channels. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a few channels on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to my one there, and we're going to go to edit. Okay. Now, when you first start up, you'll get to ask your username. Now, this is your Twitch channel or Ustream channel, whatever one you wish, your username. So you place that into there, and then you place the password or your stream key. 
and then it comes up with your channel and then you take your location here and you choose your closest to you okay without a shadow of a doubt if you chose Frankfurt in Germany the lag would be bad don't choose Singapore I've done that before it just doesn't work and then you have your video encoding your bitrate and everything else so from your bitrate I would do test your bandwidth to see what your maximum bitrate is I always keep mine at 1100 the other one here we have settings we have quality we have the max keyframe we have the encoder preset the buffer uh, and the video size default stage resolution that's what I normally I normally keep it on as that anyway okay so we close that one up now audio encoding if you are a partner of oh, of not partner sorry if you own the premium version of XSplit this is the better option you check A, A, C, L, C, H, Q you put your bit rate in and all the areas there okay so we click OK so that is now we go apply that is now your channel okay so you've added everything else in you can actually also stream to um, YouTube uh, if you're a partner uh, I'll come and show you here uh, click edit um, basically you go to channel and we go to uh, black ops 2 test you put in the RTMP URL the stream name okay and then everything else there and it all comes up so it's very much similar that then allows you to live stream on YouTube I'll show you um, at another time how to do this but that is basically that is your channel now set up okay make sure your profile details are correct um, I don't enable Skype uh, interaction I've got my settings so everybody can hear my voice as well as the guys that I'm doing uh, the commentating with through uh, Call of Duty works quite well um, and you have your hide from screen region which means when this is streaming if you're doing the screen this large bit uh, they can't see it then we go to resolutions um, my resolution I have it on 10 uh, 640 360 I have it on that one as well and also have it on 1280 by 720 as HD um, I find it works better um, that's just the way I have it and then you have the hotkeys if you want to swap some scenes okay now while we're talking scenes uh, this is it here okay basically if you're playing a game and um, you want you know you're having a bit of an interruption or you need to do so or even to put a video in um, basically just click the scene and it go through to there okay uh, make sure everything all the details all where you want them um, and that's it you can put overlay of videos uh, you can go through the whole lot there let me just remove let me remove those and then you can see how this video works remove and we go to add media file okay and then wherever your videos are click on that now that will come up right there see there's your video so if you want to go through that there's there's all your stuff now how do we go right how do we go live right uh, it's pretty sorted before we go live we make sure that we have our resolution all sorted our frame rate uh, most when you get this without paying for the extra you get 25 frames per second recommend paying the monthly the quarterly prescription subscription uh, go to 30 frames per second the transition is for the scene transitions um, so and then you have the transition speed um, okay you can actually also here see that says local recording right that means that you can record locally without going live um, so you, only you can see it and then you can edit it whatever way you want to okay so we we'll jump back onto here right and we we'll go live right, we we'll go live to this channel here and if I go to my bar www.twitch tv forward slash id silver the first thing you need to do if you're watching your stream is you go audio off okay and there you go as you can see there is the stream I'm gonna go up to Xbox Live there Boom. now there is a, a small delay okay um, you'll notice it more um, obviously on the live stream when you're streaming yourself I would recommend um, watching a live stream 
onto a different PC only purely because it saves your CPU okay and I've got other programs running but as you can see all the overlays both here and here are working nicely um, I'm going to jump in quickly so you can see the quality of this stream there we go as you can see um, you can as I said directly stream to YouTube however if you want to at any point you can actually upload directly from Twitch so there are some bonuses and disadvantages and all those sort of things but I would recommend getting XSplit without a shadow of a doubt this is a piece of kit that any streamer must have okay guys so I'm just going to leave that I'll probably tell me off okay, anyway. That is that. And when we finish streaming, we quite simply just go to here and click broadcast. And that is your stream done. So that is it. That is X Split. That is uh, the review. I give this bad boy a uh, 10 out of 10. Actually, no, I'm going to give it 9.5. There are a few features which I think could be improved on. Maybe um, the stream actual itself may becoming a little bit more HD. But that could be through Twitch. But this is a software, there's many softwares out there on the market that do what this guy does. Uh, however, I feel that XSplit, um, I, I feel that XSplit for the money is absolutely phenomenal. I really recommend this to anybody uh, that is out there, um, new to streaming or even old to streaming that's never used this. Guys, it's very, very well worth the money and I'm proud to say that the war, all of the War Room use XSplit. If you uh, if you don't know what it is or haven't got a link, I will, the War Room in the next uh, couple of days will have a link up on our website. In fact, we'll have a logo on the website, on the homepage uh, for XSplit. So thanks ever so much, guys. Yes, it is me, Silverback. If you have any questions or want to know anything, please ask me either on Twitter or on my Facebook or on uh, my YouTube channel. I'm around all the time, guys. I'm happy to help. Guys, you know what? Just keep gaming and enjoy yourself. Cheers.